It's Monday, September 16th, and it is round three chemotherapy. Again, I'm back where I usually am every time waiting for Dr. Panashi. One of the patients is Red Pac-Man. He's what? <laughs> A Red Pac-Man. Red Pac-Man? <laughs> That's what you call that? Red Pac-Man? Red Pac-Man. Okay, you can put that on your blog. <laughs> This is my third round of AC chemo currently going through my body right now. And uh, it's crazy because, you know, between the third week, the three weeks before <coughs> after my second chemo, I did so much. I had a CTV interview, I had my photo shoots, I had the Huffington Post interview, I felt good, I was running 5K. But um, it's crazy because then with all that happening, I kind of forgot I had to do chemo today and I forgot I still had to go through all my treatments. So it kind of hit me this morning when I had to wake up and I was like, oh, it's true. I have to go and get sick again because <laughs> after this, I know it's going to hit me hard like it always does. But it's okay because um, today I found out that... Um, According to Dr. Panashi and my surgeon, Dr. Bolo, my tumor has shrunk again, but this time significantly. It's insane because remember my 4x4, that the big tumor that I had, is now shrunk to 1.7 centimeters, and the smaller one is 1. Uh, 1. 1.2 or between 1.2 and 1.5. It means this is working, and that's a really big difference. So um, Dr. Wallow said that I, it's a good thing that I gotta continue my treatments because that way we can eliminate the tumor completely and I have a chance to be cured. I'm really, really excited about that. Um, aside from that, so much has happened today. I always have stories. I always have adventures in this place because um, I've been waiting quite a bit to get my medicine because apparently my file got misplaced. I was kind of sitting here with an empty IV because no one made the, the order for my medicine. So I've been here since 8 a.m. It's going almost 3 p.m. and I still gotta wait another hour till this goes through my body, but it's okay as long as it's getting done. And uh, did you guys see my OOTD <laughs> outfit of the day? It's like by my cousin Christine from Toronto. Fight like hell. That's my motto. So, for those who don't know me, I'm kind of a really superstitious person. Well, not really superstitious, but I believe, you know, in um, lucky charms and just energy. And, of course, I grew up Catholic. I consider myself religious. I do believe in God. I just believe in hope and, you know, keeping strong any way you can. And don't think I'm crazy, but I need to introduce you to a few of my tricks during chemotherapy. I have a bunch of lucky charms, but all of them are gifts. And I think that's the best way to explain it. When I receive a gift, I cherish it. I think it's the most precious thing ever, and it means a lot to me. So um, my sister-in-law, Amelie, this is her lucky pouch. She actually had it when she had um, cancer, when she was like 12. And she said she brought it with her every time. Inside, it contains a bunch of charms with saints on it. And she told me to hold it in my hand every time I do chemo, because that's what she did. And she's a survivor, and she's perfectly healthy and fine right now. So this is one of them that I hold tightly. And then, of course, I have the pictures of all my saints. <laughs> Father Andre. This one's from... Who's this Tony. Tony. This is from my mom's co-workers. My mom's co-workers have been very supportive. My angels. My holy water. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going to think I'm a little wacky. Eh? No, but they're all presents. Little saints and little pouches. <laughs> so they surround me. While well, I do chemo. And... Another trick with all this around me is that I close my eyes and I focus, but all the medicine is aimed towards my bosom. <laughs> and this way, I feel like your mind can truly control anything that goes on in your body. You have total control 
from your your body and soul. So it is time to meditate. I will see you guys later.